Hello and welcome back to this video tutorial series on Gatsby.js. So in the last video, we uh, installed Bootstrap, we installed React Strap, uh, we brought them in, we brought in our custom styles, as you can see here. We installed a couple of plugins, uh, we created uh, these three pages about tags and team, and we linked them in this navbar that we've added. Now, before we do anything, I want to add something actually. Um, in the in the header file, I want to wrap all everything that's inside the navbar with a uh, dot container, a div dot container. So if we put everything here, put it inside the container, and we save, and it runs again. As as you can see, everything now is pushed to the middle, and the links are more accessible. Um, in this video, we're gonna be creating our first posts and we're going to be uh, fetching them and showing them on our application. So let's do that. Okay. Uh, before we fetch the posts, obviously we have to create them. So uh, actually we have, before we create the posts or anything, let's commit our changes. So get add, oops, get add dot and get commit. And let's say added bootstrap and react strap, strap uh, and plugins and created a navbar. Okay, so let's go to the pages folder. Let's create another folder inside of that and call it posts. And let's start creating our posts. Uh, so the first post I'm gonna name um, zero zero one dash first dash post dot md for markdown. Now, uh, you don't have to name them. Uh, the name doesn't matter at all, but I like to put these numbers at the start so that they will order themselves as I, uh, create them. Okay. So here we will have a section at the top, uh, that's marked with these, uh, three, uh, dashes. And this is where our front matter, uh, properties go. Uh, so the first property would be title and let's call this post first post. Let's actually capitalize our names dash introduction. So this will be the introduction and let's give it a date. So this will be, uh, 2018 December 1st and posted at 7 AM, not 70 AM again, not 70. Um, let's give the author, which is going to be John Doe and let's give it a path. And I'm going to explain what this path does in a moment. First, uh, dash post, uh, let's close the string and this will say, welcome to code blog. I hope you enjoy, um, our content. Uh, content and let's just let's just paste that one more time and let's save that and let's create another one so this one would be 002 second post dot md uh, let's paste everything and change it so second post and what is the first thing we learn about web it's html and it's posted on the second and posted by Jane instead of John and the path will be second post and this will say today uh, we are gonna talk about HTML5 HTML5 um, let's paste that in a couple of times because why not let's just have more content uh, let's create a third one so new file zero zero three third post dot md. This is the last post we create. I promise. <laughs> Let's copy everything, and this will be um, of course the third post. So third here, and posted on the third, and posted by John, and the path will be oops third po slash third post. And, uh, I did forgot to change this. This is about CSS. And this time we are gonna dive into CSS and a comma. And let's paste that in a couple of times. And 
now we have our posts. Uh, but uh, we have to actually install a plugin, which will then take all markdown files that are in our folder structure and turn them into GraphQL uh, data that we can query. So let's install a plugin called NP, um, not npm, let's do npm install Gatsby dash transformer dash remark. And this will uh, bring all the markdown uh, files and put them into um, uh, into a collection called All Markdown Remark, which has all the details about these posts that we've just created. Let's close them. And let's wait for this plugin to install. And it should be added here. Let's actually configure it before it finishes installing. And let's add it. Let's just add it anywhere. Let's add it here. Or let's add it at the bottom. Let's add it at the bottom. So Gatsby dash transformer uh, dash remark and actually we need to add another entry for the file system so here we have uh, the images folder and now we need to add the pages folder as well so that our application is aware that there is a folder called uh, pages which is this folder where our markdown files uh, go okay let's start the development server oops let's do gatsby develop and I'm going to show you now a really cool tool that comes shipped with GraphQL um, called Graphical, which is uh, which is the other link that you get now when this says that it's done compiling. It's this link, so slash dash 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 uh, GraphQL. Oh, and our post is already ready. Wow! <laughs> but let's just type it again. Um, that stole my thunder, but yeah, the post will be all markdown remark, which is why I told you where our um, post will go. And we will have something called edges, and inside an edge we have a node, and that node has an ID, so let's put the ID of the node. And here, this node represents one post, by the way. So we will have the front matter, which is the stuff that we added. If you click control space, you will see that it suggests that field that already exists on, on the stuff that we've added, which lets you understand what we're actually dealing with. And let's keep adding these fields of title, date, author, and path. And if we click control enter or this play button and voila, we have our posts and they're exactly what we expect because we just added them. And outside of front matter, if we add excerpt like this, we're going to fetch the, um, the, uh, the actual content of the post. So let's actually copy this post. And what we want to do now is we want to go to the index and we want to fetch the latest three posts. Uh, of course, now we only have three posts, but we want to fetch the latest three posts on our index uh, page and, and show them. So let's actually write this query, which is that query that we just wrote. So let's do const index query equals GraphQL, uh, two backticks uh, for template literal string. And let's paste that and control S so that it formats. Uh, let's bring in, it's not going to complain, but we need to bring in GraphQL. So GraphQL, import GraphQL from Gatsby. Now, we, uh, this is a static query because there's no variables. So we need to bring in as well this thing called static query to run it. Uh, we could run it as a dynamic query, but that uh, kind of uh, is not good for performance. So let's just use the static query thing. And underneath our title, we're going to do, we're going to add this uh, static query uh, component which takes two things a query which is this index query that we just added so query index query and it has uh, your render property so render which will take which is a, an anonymous function that takes data which is which is the result of running this query right here and inside of this block let's uh, return and this is for each post so, uh, f I mean, no, actually, no, we haven't looped uh, through it yet. So let's do a div here, div, and inside of this div, let's open a, a code block and say data dot all markdown remark dot edges dot map. So we're looping through that array of data. So instead of actually doing edge here, let's do uh, some destructuring and get our node out of that edge component. Uh, out of that edge property 
And here as well, instead of doing curly braces and doing return, since we're not going to do anything else, we can just straight do this. Instead of curly braces, we just do parentheses, and this represents return. Now inside of here, we're going to, uh, for each post, we're going to output the details of that post. And we could actually just do the title. The, uh, I mean, we could just put that card and put all this information here. But since we're going to need to show the posts everywhere in different pages in our uh, application, in order to have dry code and not repeat ourselves, let's create a component sp uh, specially made for um, showing data for posts. Let's close this actually so that it doesn't complain. And here, let's just, uh, we're just going to say post. Okay, post like this, post uh, for now. But we're going to return to this. So let's go to components. Let's create a post with a capital P because it's a component.js. Now in here, we need to bring in React. From React, where else would you bring React from? We will need a link, a link from, usually from React, but now from Gatsby because we're in Gatsby. Uh, let's bring in, actually we're going to bring in a couple of things from React Strap, from Re, um, React Strap, um, I'm not sure what other things except for card, wait, okay, so let's do our component first and then go back. So this component will take a couple of things, it will take the title of the post, uh, the author of the post, the path. Uh, the date that the post was posted then and the body of the post and it will return a couple of things for us return like this let's export it first and then f and then actually populate it export default um, post oops post okay so inside the return we're gonna do card because we're gonna show them in cards and this is what we need to bring from react strap so card card title um, card text, um, card subtitle, and we need card body, card as well, card body. So in each card has a card body inside of it, card body. Uh, oops. Okay, so the, we have a card title here, card title. And our card title is actually the title of the post, so just like this, title, which is what we're going to receive. And then here we're going to have a card subtitle. And inside of this, we're going to actually do a span dot text info, which is going to give it a color of blue. And this will have the date and space by, and then another space, and then let's do another span dot text dash info and this will have the author so this will be like the date by author so it'll be like first of november by by i don't know whoever your author is in my case is john doe so which doesn't exist but whatever <laughs> so card text and inside the text simple as just putting body and now we're gonna have a link let's just do link like this which will have a couple of classes actually so btn bootstrap button and then btn outline primary and then we're gonna have uh, the class of float oops not flat float not float <laughs> dash right so that it floats right and it will say read more and it will be a link to the path of our post so Oh, uh, I think we're good here. So let's let's actually save all files. Let's see why we have an error. Post is not defined. Yeah, because we put post here, but we didn't actually finish creating this page. So let's import post from go back one level to component slash post. And here we need to pass those things that we just actually took. So we need to pass um, we need to pass the title. So title equals node dot front matter. Remember the stuff is here, so this is the node, so node.frontmatter.title dot title and let's do enter and let's pass the rest. So author equals node.frontmatter dot I misspelled that dot frontmatter dot author 
and we're gonna have as well path which is node dot front matter front matter dot path and we're gonna have the date which is node dot front matter dot date and as well the body uh, which is node dot excerpt and yeah I think this is it so if we save and it compiles and we look at our application so let's just delete everything here let's just type again local host 8000 and there we go this is our posts they're being fetched and they're being displayed but we need to change a couple of things first of all it's showing the first post first which is not cool we need to see the latest first latest post first and the date is not being formatted properly and this John Doe is attached to buy because react sometimes likes to swallow up spaces so let's fix those problems so in here in our all markdown remark query we can add these parentheses to add some options to the query so we need to add the option of sort uh, the argument of sort and it will be and we will add inside of it fields and bear with me if you if this um, uh, if this uh, syntax is a bit confusing it's always confusing to learn something new sometimes so front matter dash 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 date so this will sort by date and we need to give it an order of DESC which stands for descending so the descending order so that the biggest is first and the date we're gonna add this thing called format string which will format the date and we'll let's put a string in front of it so colon string m m m d like this d o y y y y and this will show us the month in a uh, uh, as letters uh, not as a number and then inside of here after the by we're gonna add an empty string uh, a space uh, string and let's save everything and we have an error because what is this from at the title okay so the problem was here actually it's just a misspelling I misspelled uh, front matter and I typed front matter you probably didn't do that uh, okay so I'll save and that ru it runs now and there we go uh, our data is formatted like we wanted it to be formatted there's a space between the by and the author and the posts are ordered uh, last one first uh, I want to add one thing though let's wrap this uh, title in a link so if we go here if we cut this and we add a link and this goes to the path that we passed in and we paste our title back these now are links and if we click on read more or if we click on the title it goes to that path that we uh, added to the post in the markdown uh, and uh, yeah soon we will create this uh, single page um, single post page but I still want to work on the home page so in the next video we're gonna be adding thumbnail images to these cards to uh, make it even look uh, look even better so tune into that uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one cheers